All right, double angle formula. So sine alpha plus alpha from the previous video, if you remember, sine alpha plus alpha will be expanded to sine alpha cos of the second angle plus sine alpha cos of the second alpha angle which is also alpha so quickly let us fix mistake okay this is to be angle alpha so what do you have sum of two identical terms so this is equivalent to two sine alpha cos alpha very powerful formula for solving identities so it's good to know it so we're going to say sine 2 alpha is equal to 2 sine alpha cosine alpha okay so remember very useful formula cosine alpha plus alpha so this is why double angle because of one angle added twice however if you recall the cosine for the sum so this is cos alpha cos of the second angle minus sine alpha sine of the second angle which is also alpha so this is cos times cos of the same angle so this is cos squared alpha minus sine squared alpha now for cosine of double angle you will see two other variations let's recall the Pythagorean identity first. So sine squared alpha plus cos squared alpha is equal to 1. Now, I may wish to express cosine 2 alpha in terms of cos alpha or sine alpha only. Depend what situation I'm facing with, what equation is good for, or what identity is useful for. So, Let's say I want to express cos alpha, double alpha, in terms of cos squared only. So sine squared alpha will be replaced with 1 minus cos squared alpha. So you're going to go cos squared minus 1 minus cos squared alpha. So this is why cos 2 alpha is equivalent to 2 cos squared of single angle alpha minus 1. Okay. Also, if I were to express cos of double angle in terms of sine squared alpha only, then conversely you would replace this cos squared with 1 minus sine squared because you're going to use that formula again. So 1 minus sine squared alpha minus the existing sine squared. And this simplifies to, I'm going to say minus 2 sine squared alpha plus 1. So just to make it work, this is not a different formula. It's the same one as the original one shown up above here. It's just sometimes it is convenient to express cos of double angle in terms of either sine squared alpha or cos, cos squared alpha. So remember that. So that's it for this video, and I see you next time when we will be doing equations. Thank you for watching it. Bye-bye.